Hello, this is Cuckoo. I'm at the NAMM Show 2019 at Soyuz booth. Uh, Soyuz is a, a company and they specifically make really high quality microphones. And I've listened to some of them before and it really caught my attention. I, I think they sound really lovely. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try uh, their uh, 17 and also one of their uh, prototypes. So let's see what it sounds like. Now this is the one that I'm specifically interested in. It's uh, the version 17 tube. It's a tube microphone. So listen to this. Hello, this is Cuckoo. I'm uh, enjoying this new microphone and uh, it's called the 17 tube. I don't have the headphones right now. I'm just gonna talk a little bit uh, with my sweet voice. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Yeah, I, the thing that caught my attention when I used this microphone and listened to it in my headphones was the level of definition uh, and the higher frequencies that just, just picks it up really nicely. And of course, right now I'm recording this on a Zoom recorder, which is not like, the, the optimal interface for recording this. Uh, but it, it, yeah, you should get a, a pretty good picture of what it sounds like. So yeah, the Soyuz 17 tube microphone. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, so that, that's a little taste of what it sounds like. So I, I'm gonna try one of their uh, uh, prototypes. It hasn't been released yet, but there's another one uh, which uh, we'll cut to right now. Uh, the next microphone I wanna check out is this one. It's called a Broadcaster. Look at this, it looks like a submarine or something. Beautiful. These are heavy, by the way. It, they are really, really like tanks, super heavy. So, okay, let's try that. Hello, this is Cuckoo. I'm uh, talking to the broadcaster. And there's a lot of noise around me, but I think you could get a, a pretty good impression of what it sounds like. And typically in a place like this, I kind of, uh, bring out this uh, tone in my voice to, to get people to even hear me but I'm gonna reduce that and be soft and nice and sexy <laughs> so um, yeah I think what strikes me is with this one I think it's designed to be very neutral but also um, colored in this very very nice way that Soyuz does uh, and when I first listened to this I felt like it had a lot of things in common, qualities in common with the 17 tube that we just tried. Uh, but this sounds much more neutral. Uh, so I think this would work on, on just about anything really. Uh, so yeah, there you go. This is the Soyuz Broadcaster. Yeah. And I'm Cuckoo. Yeah. How do you like it? Yeah, so I'm here with Mark from Soyuz, and uh, yeah, I've been just checking out the, the microphones, and I, I think they sound really, really nice, at least to my ears. Thank you, yeah, great to be with you, Cuckoo. Yeah, this is uh, it's very fun. We got a lot of exciting things going on this year, kind of some hidden secrets, little surprises that we haven't announced yet, but just kind of gauging people's reactions, and it's uh, it's been very fun to watch. Cool, yeah, in, in an environment like this, it's not precisely easy to... Uh, to come through with the high quality microphones, but even so, listening to to these things, it, it sounds really nice, at least in my ears. Yeah, that's why we kind of get so happy when, you know, we do our best with the headphones and then just seeing somebody initially turn right at you and you see the smile yeah. and you just know exactly what kind of sound they're going for. Yeah. So it works well. Could you tell me a bit about your company and about how you design these things and uh, about how, how you collaborate? Absolutely. So the word Soyuz is Russian for alliance or union. Um, the company was started in 2013 by uh, David Brown, um, who's a full-time musician. He was on tour in Russia and was talking and realizing, huh, how come they don't really make microphones like they used to? Because Russian, you know, are known for their engineering. So we kind of have taken the engineering master machining qualities of the East and paired it with the marketing and infrastructure of the West. Um, and so between that, we've just really taken these master machinists, completely handmade every single microphone in Tula, Russia. 
um, which is just outside of Moscow. So these microphones start as just a piece of stock brass, and by the end of it, we craft something really special. Yeah, yeah, you could tell just by holding holding the microphones, you can feel like this. These are tanks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was, that was my first impression too. You know, I came on as just a lover of Soyuz. I use one of these microphones, and it's one of those things where, you know, when you're really saving up for a microphone, maybe it's like, you know, if you're not if you're not in a commercial studio, if you're the home studio kind of guy, and this is your first investment, and maybe he or she spends all this money saving up on their job, getting a microphone. You want to feel it and have it sound good and get that rewarding sound. So, yeah, the last the last one I tried over there. Uh, it, it's a prototype. Uh, I think it really sounds quite nice already. Yeah. Where, could you tell me a bit about you know how you've come from uh, an idea to a finished product? Uh, what, what goes through your head and yeah, what made you make this new microphone? Yeah. So I can't take credit for the design. That comes from David, the, the mastermind. Yeah. Um, but this is a prototype, a Cuckoo exclusive here. Um, it actually uses the same capsule of our bomblet microphone. Uh, yeah, so it uses the same capsule, just retuned in a different way. And the original approach here is, you know, we want something that's going to be good for radio stations, podcasts, people doing voiceover work. Something that, you know, is inspiring to look at, but also delivers a really focused, beautiful sound. Um, and so, we, you know, we made three different versions of it, kind of tried it on different sources, and we've decided on a winner. And so hopefully we'll be getting these to people soon. And they sound, yeah, they sound great. Yeah, very nice. I, I really like the design as well. I think these, uh, the design you've, you've done in the past, they, uh, they make a statement, like a design statement. Yeah, David spends a lot of time designing these. And, uh, you know, he puts a lot of pressure on the guys and, and girls in Russia to really just make it look nice. And, you know, I think the big rewarding thing is, is that once the mics are out in the world, uh, we get so much feedback on people who love the sound and love the looks. We make sure to tell everybody back there, just, hey, so-and-so used your mic and said great. And so, yeah, it's, it's, it's rewarding. Yeah. But but one one thing I'd say to especially to my viewers is uh, these these are high quality high end uh, you know uh, microphones and when you look at the list here it's like Taylor Swift full uh, um, Radiohead Beck you know you see all these uh, top top artists with with a lot of resources to to make an album so so don't expect this to be like pocket money. <laughs> product. Uh, these, this is top of the line quality and sound. Uh, it's got to cost you. Well, the fun thing too is, you know, with all these people that we've given the mics to, we kind of let them say, hey, let us know what you think. We want your feedback. Put it up against your go-tos. We want to know how it sounds. And so people are like, okay, yeah, we'll try out a microphone. And then, you know, we always get texts back and say, I'm not giving this back to you. It's bested my my, my, my whole mic locker. And so, yeah, it's always, you know, reassuring that we're, we're doing something right. But, and, you know, oh, and yeah, when I was saying with the broadcaster, typical with all still use microphones, there's always something a little special. Like, we just went through the paces of trying to put this on every source we possibly could because we had the idea of, yeah, this was designed to be um, for voice and vocals. But what if all of a sudden it's a hidden gem on a snare or a hidden gem on a violin? So, you know, we always encourage people to just kind of experiment and push the boundaries with their mics a little bit, and you can be surprised. Yeah, I think um, just by listening to it, it feels like you have a really solid starting point, a really great starting point. Yeah. Uh, it already sounds great. And one thing that Pavel from, from the Russian team told me was, uh, it sounds great as a starting point, but when you start working with it, you can see how much, how much is there. I mean, there's a lot of, of good juice to work with. Yeah, yeah, it's, you can't go wrong either way. <laughs> Honestly, you know, we try to really narrow in to try to figure out people's needs, to figure out the sound they're going for, to help make a recommendation into, okay, you're recording this type of music, then the bomblet's gonna be perfect for you, be perfect for you. the 17 tube will be perfect for you, but really, it doesn't matter where you put them or how you put them. It just, it just, they just work well. <laughs> yeah, I can't yeah. state that enough. <laughs> <laughs> totally unbiased. <laughs> oh yeah, totally unbiased. Wait, what? Say, yeah. Another cuckoo. Yeah, yeah. This is this is really cool. Um, yeah, 
you hear these microphones, there's a lot of technology in them that makes them sound so good. Yeah. And part of that technology has now been um, extracted to a new box. Tell me about it. Exactly. So this is the Soyuz launcher. Uh, this is something that's been in the works for a little while. Many different versions have been around until we perfectly found the sound. Now, a lot of people might be familiar with, you know, your typical mic activator. Basically, it's a box you plug in at SM58, SM57, SM7B, etc. Dynamic ribbon, and you just get a ton of gain. We wanted to take that and kind of add the Soyuz sound to it. So this is your mic activator with one of our uh, custom transformers inside. So you kind of get the sound of Soyuz to go. Um, or the sound of still use in a dynamic microphone. So for somebody who maybe is working overtime to save up for a still use mic, they can kind of get ahead of the game, get one of these, plug in their dynamic, and honestly, we've been giving these a lot to a lot of live, live uh, venues. So people who are using SM58s in their clubs, putting in one of these, and we have not been able to get them back. So <laughs> we have a lot of ideas for this. This is going to be really exciting. Uh, look for this later this year. And is it is that the official name? A mic activator? Uh, this it's called the Soyuz Launcher. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, the Soyuz Launcher. And basically, what you can expect from the transformer is you take your regular sound and it really comes alive. You get a lot of heft and the top end opens up. So on like an SM58, you, you plug it into the launcher and all of a sudden it's like you get air, you get life, you get articulation back. So it's kind of uh, a nicerizer of sorts. Well, what's, what's in it? What exactly is there in it? Do you know that? Very clean. Literally just one of our custom uh, toroidal transformers. We use uh, get them from the same places we get our transformer cores in Russia. So the same kind of transformer you can get in any Soyuz microphone. This comes in this. Neutrik connections, very clean. Um, 36 dB of gain. So this thing can get pretty loud. So we're also including a pad on there too. So you don't want to overload your pre's. Um, we're really looking forward to kind of experimenting more. We think we've settled on a final version, and we're just really like excited to see how people use this. Somebody walked up to the booth yesterday and said, oh, I can't wait to strap a pair of these on the mix bus. And so it's like, oh, we never even thought of that. So there's going to be a lot of uh, fun things you can do with this here. Yeah, and for me, I, you know, if I had one of those, I'd use it for synthesizers and electronic music. Exactly. Yeah, and I think there's going to be other kind of launchers, like the launch pad, potentially. You know, the possibilities are endless with this. We just really, like I said, the sound of Soul used to go. Take your sound with you, and it'll, it'll be fun. Uh, have you decided on, on, on a price for that box yet? Not, uh, not quite yet, um, but it's going to be very accessible. It's going to be for anybody you know, regardless of if you are in a closet, bedroom, in an apartment somewhere, you can afford one of these, yeah. So you can save up for that. Maybe like half the price of a microphone? It will hold you over. Maybe half the price of a preamp. Yeah, yeah. But it'll be, it'll be fun. Cool. Well, thank you so much. Thank Absolutely. you for, for your time. Thank you, Cuckoo. I can't wait to uh, listen to more of your stuff on the way home. Cool, thanks. Awesome. We'll see you soon.